Hi everybody, welcome back to Daisy. And in this video, I want to talk about how you can add more of the most excellent M14 DMR to your community servers for PC, PlayStation, and Xbox. Very, very nice weapon, this semi-automatic um, chambered in 308 Winchester. Uh, very powerful. It's going to be a firm favourite. However, not that many spawn on servers in the vanilla settings. So... Um, where they actually spawn is on um, helicopter crash sites. They're dyna dynamic event loot. So it's helicopter crash sites, uh, military convoys, and probably the military train as well. So, for example, you know they're, they're scattered all over um, Chernus here, and here we have Livonia as well. But the catch is, if we have a look at the actual files themselves, look at the types.xml, we can see that with the M14... There's only ever three spawning in. And so you've got the combination of they're only on helicopter crash sites and military convoys. So that's a rare thing to come across in the first place. And then there's only three of them. So let's talk about how you can have more of them on your server. Now the file you're interested in is your types.xml, which is inside your mission folder. So Chernus or Enoch for Livonia. And you'll want to do a quick search to just search for m14 and that will find make you find the dmr and let's have a quick look at it so as we said there's three should spawn in um and if we look in the flags we can see they are dynamic event loot so dynamic event loot is set to one which means true or yes so they'll only spawn there so one of the things you could do if you wanted to is you could uh, simply increase the nominal to i don't know 10 um, and increase the minimum to say eight um, however, they would still only spawn in at um, helicopter crash sites. So what you could then do maybe there is change dynamic event loop to zero. Now what would happen there if we save that and we uploaded it to our server and restarted our server? M14s would spawn at any military location on the map. Um, so you know, even down on the south coast and on the east coast and on Chernus with the little military tents, there's a chance you'd find an M14. Um, you might not th you might not want that though because you might say okay the, the weapon's really powerful so i don't want it to just spawn in helicopter crash sites or i don't want it to spawn on in helicopter crash sites but i want it to be a more difficult thing to find so what you could do is luckily underneath the m14 entry in your types xml in the churnus missions is the m16 entry so what you could do if you copy these two values here value three uh, value name equals t3 and value name equals tier 4 we could copy them and we could just paste them underneath there so what's going to happen now is if we go back to our map for here and then we could do filter uh, let's have a look see if we can get the tier loot overlay so what you can see here is these are the tiers on Chernera so we're saying well actually we only want the M14 um, DMR to spawn in tier 3 and tier 4. So you've got 1 is the coast, 2 is the middle, tier 3 is the oldest yellow bit, and tier 4 are these pink bits, uh, well, pinky red bits here. So you could say, right, that's where they're going to spawn. Or maybe what you could do as well, is if we go back here, maybe you could just say tier 3. So they only spawn sort of up at the Northwest Airfield at Tizzy um, and places like that. So you can make it very difficult to find as well. Another thing you may want to do as well is you could do control F and if you look for the M4A1 you could say you could change the usage name to contaminated area. Now what that would do that wouldn't add more to the server <laughs> um, but if you turn the um, DE loot off and then change the usage to kind of contaminated area they would only spawn in the contaminated areas up at Riffy and then uh, on Chernus or is it um, Polovo is it as well um, and you can do that or if we go to Livonia and do a search for say uh, M4A1 we can sell this in contaminators here. let's have a look for underground here we go so what we could do is we could put a usage name of underground uh, this is only for the Livonia uh, entries though and then we could choose say tier 3 for example and that would mean that the um, the M14 uh, would only spawn in the underground bunker down at um, 
down the dam bog down in the bottom left hand corner of the map um and i guess it's level three is it I'm not, I'm not quite sure how the bunker works but it wouldn't be on the first level of the bunker you'd have to go down to find it there so that would make it quite difficult that way but really this this uh, video is about how do you add more of them so funnily enough on the livonia file the m4 team is right down the bottom Control F 14. There it is. So the core of the thing is increase the nominal to say 10, increase the minimum to say 8, get rid of the dynamic event loot, change that to 0, um, and then you've got category weapons, usage name military, and maybe add a tier like tier 3 or tier 4 or tier 2 to that. But if you just uh, kept it with military, you'd then get M14 spawning in lots of different places all over the map. Now, the other thing you'll want to be interested in, of course, is the mags. So if we do a control F for M14, and then you've got the mag uh, 14, 10 round, and the 20 round. And what we can do by looking at these, we can see that these are not dynamic event loot. Uh, occurrences so these will spawn on the ground however they are tier 3 and tier 4 military locations so again that's up towards the northwest of Chernarus or towards the south of Livonia so if you want to make it easier for people to find these mags because you've made it easier to find the M14s remember you can um, get rid of those tiers completely uh, you could add tier 2 I guess as well increase the nominal and increase the minimum and if you want the bullets to spawn want the magazine to form spawn full of bullets then you could change the quant min say to 99 and the quant max to 100 or you can probably change both to 100 I tend to do 99 and 100 there and that way when someone picks up a magazine it's full of win 308 and speaking of 308 if you do a search for 308 you can see we've got Ammo box 308 win tracer, ammo, eight, ammo box 308 win 20 round. Now, these the tracer stuff is military 3 and 4, and the normal stuff is hunting. So, again, you could change this so you can get rid of the tier levels so that the boxes of um, 308 would spawn at any military locations. And you could do the same with hunting as well. So, again, they would spawn you know, on hunting platforms in the hunting pub and that sort of stuff as well. So that, my friends, is how you add more of the M14 DMR to your community servers. Um, hopefully you found this video useful. If you have, hit like. If you want to see more of the same, press subscribe. And I will, of course, see you again soon.